Hello, AP Calculus Kids. Uh, this is Mr. McAllen, and uh, we're uh, going to talk today about, hopefully quickly, about how to find the volume of a section that grows out of um, the XY plane. And so we're going to get, we're going to begin. Uh, let's just talk about the different variations that we're going to see today. I'm going to race through these, but the first solid is one where um, squares are going to be the section running through the object. Uh, the next shape will be uh, where we have equilateral triangles running through uh, the shape. Then we'll go to isosceles right, and then we'll go to circles. So the first one is a um, is a square, so let's draw the section. And remember, it's trapped between two curves, root x and negative root x. And the section start at x equals 0 and run to x equals 4. So I'm going to draw that as quickly as I can, and you should practice drawing it too. So um, Here's the uh, z-axis, the y-axis, and um, this would be the x-axis. I'm going to draw the um, square root of x, the other square root of x, which is negative, and between these sections, uh, the top of the function and the bottom of the function is going to be um, going to define where the square starts and where it ends. And um, so if we look at it over here, that square section will be uh, 2 root x on the base and 2 root x on the height. And then when we do the um, area of that, the area of that section will be equal to 2 root x times 2 root x, making it 4 um, x. So remember our volume. we. It, our volume is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 4 of our area function through dx. And we're going to simply integrate from 0 to 4. And this will be um, the integral of 4x, which is simple. It's the setup that's really um, the tough work. So the antiderivative is going to be um, uh, it's 4x squared over 2, which is equal to 2x. And when you evaluate that at 4, 2x squared, I mean, that's going to be um, 32. And when you evaluate it at 0, you're going to get 0. So our volume for this object is 32 cubic units. So now let's switch our attention to the next shape. Um, the next shape, I'm going to draw it quickly. It's going to be a equilateral triangle. So on this special graph paper, I'm going to draw the same object x, y, and z. We've got our um, square root of x and our negative square root of x. So now this is going to be an equilateral triangle. So in red, I'll draw that. Here we have equilateral triangle. And this shape is going to carry on throughout the object. Here's a small one. Here's a medium one. So you can see what type of shape this is going to be. Um, the equilateral triangle. We know that the critical dimension here from the from the top to the bottom is going to be uh, 2 root x just like it was before. So then this dimension will be 2 root x and this dimension will be 2 root x. And using our information from uh, SAT, um, when we divide an equilateral triangle in half, the bottom dimension is 2 root x for the base, but um, we have 60 and 30. Remember that this dimension here is equal to uh, um, a root 3 multiple times this bottom dimension. So what we basically get is uh, if this is 60 and this is 30, we had s, s root 3, and 2s. So now applying this dimension to that, we have a triangle that will have the dimensions, and you can check this. Uh, if this is 2 root x on the bottom, this is root x here, and this dimension here for the height would be root x times root 3. So what we want to do now is when we find our area, it's going to be 1 half, the base will be 2 root x, and the height will be root x times root 3. And uh, we'll multiply all that good stuff together. And the area function is 
um, the twos cancel, the root x's, the roots cancel out, so you have x root 3 for the area function. We integrate the area function through the distant domain from 0 to 4, and we're going to end up getting the antiderivative will be x squared over 2 times root 3, and when we evaluate it at 4, we'll get 16 over 2 root 3, or and uh, evaluate at 0, we get 0. So the volume is going to just be 8 root 3. So moving on to our next shape, you should notice that this is also smaller than the one with um, square sections. So moving on to our next shape, we have isosceles right triangles. So I'm going to draw um, that again. So I have x, y, and z. I'm going to draw in blue the square root function and the negative square root function. And these are isosceles right triangles. I should have said that they sit on one of their legs because that'll make a difference. So um, let me draw them upright so you can see them. They go from four. So here's one of them. Right, that's an isosceles right, and then here you'll see an isosceles right, but it's smaller because the base is smaller. And here's another one that's a little bit bigger. Hopefully you can see like how um, as we progress out to four, we're going to get to our maximum um, height. And if you look at the isosceles right, its base dimension is root 2 root x. Its height is the same as its base because it's isosceles right. So that'll be 2 root x by 2 root x. So my area equation of this face is going to be 1 half 2 root x by 2 root x, which um, will give you 2x as your integrand. So when I integrate from 0 to 4, 2x dx, my antiderivative is going to be x squared. And when I evaluate it at 4 and at 0, I'm going to get 16 and 0, and the volume will be 16 units cubed, which is exactly half of if that was a square base, which is to be expected, and you know, hopefully that happens. So it happened. And our last problem for tonight, or today, or whatever time you're watching this, is when we have circular sections. So I'm going to draw again my xy axis. And I'm going to draw my uh, square root function, my other square root function. I'm going to draw one circular section in so you can see it. So here we have this circle going up and then going down. Remember, it's only going to go up to uh, from 0 up to 4. So these are going to be a whole bunch of circular sections. It's going to look like a nose cone, if you will. And um, when I... Uh, consider the area as a function of x. Remember it's a circle, its diameter is between, um, you know, it's from the top to the bottom, so the diameter is equal to 2 root x. So that makes it nice and easy because pi r squared is the area equation. So pi, the radius will be just root x and we're going to square it. So now when I, uh, when I simplify that I get pi x as my area function, which is pretty cool. It's from 0 to 4. I'm integrating pi x. Remember, it's not the uh, formula that's hard. It's coming up with a formula. And now we integrate that. You have pi x squared over 2 from 4 to 0. and um, Or you could do it as the antiderivative at 4. It's going to be uh, 16 over 2, which will be 8 pi. And the antiderivative at 0 will be 0. So my volume will be 8 pi, which is roughly um, 24 units um, cubed. While I've, done, while I've done this video in under 10 minutes, so uh, if there are any questions, hopefully you like this video, it helped you, and um, you know, please uh, like this video or subscribe to this channel, and uh, I look forward to hearing your comments and feedback.